Hello, welcome back to our study of Pinin Halacha, the teachings of Rebbe Liazim Allah made Shlita. Yesterday we discussed the idea of Tosefes Shabbos, adding on a little bit to the Shabbos before and after. Today let's look at that a little bit practically. Ketzad Mekabalin Tosefes Shabbos. How does one actually accept Shabbos early? Kabbalah Tosefes Shabbos Nazis Lide Dibur. Generally speaking, one accepts these extra few moments of Shabbos early through speech. Kegon Shiomar, Henani Mekabel Al Atzmi Kedush HaShabbos. If a person makes a declaration and says, I hereby accept upon myself the sanctity of Shabbos. V'yesh Omrim, Sha'af V'machshav Anitin L'Kabal Tosef HaShabbos. Mishnah Brewer says that even just by thinking it, by having it in mind, one is able to accept the extra moments of Shabbos. Ameachar Shekibal Adam Al Atzmo Asa Shabbos, A lovely Hishomer Masias Melacha. And we're going to see going forward, but once a person accepts upon himself these extra moments of Shabbos, either verbally or through thought and through this machshava, then for all intents and purposes, it is Shabbos. He can no longer perform any sort of melacha. It is Shabbos. Kefisha lamadnu minnek hanashim lakabelas hashabbos beis halagas haneros. So we have learned that the custom is that women accept Shabbos at the time that they like light candles, because they make the blessing, and they say, to kindle the lights of Shabbos. And since they are mentioning Shabbos in the bracha, the implied kavana, the intention is that they are accepting Shabbos at that moment, and since, as we mentioned, 18 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, or 40 minutes before sunset, they are indeed accepting Shabbos. According to most poskim, most halakhic authorities, a woman, if she wants or if she needs to, can make a condition that when she lights candles, she's not accepting Shabbos at that moment. Which will allow her then to light candles and still finish up whatever tasks need to be done before Shabbos that one could not do on Shabbos, or let's say even to drive to shul. This is a practical application. Let's say we have a Shabbos dinner in shul, or many people have this, let's say, on Kol Nidre night. People light candles at home and then make the condition and then not accept Yom Kippur, the same thing, Shabbos, Yom Kippur, until they get to shul. This is a situation where this would come in handy. However, the best practice is to accept Shabbos as soon as you light candles. Because there are some that hold that this condition will not hold. And since she has performed the act of lighting candles, once the act of lighting candles has taken place, then she can no longer do Malacha, any prohibited activities on Shabbos. Vaod, Shimlot to Kabelas a Shabbos based at Lagas Aneros, Yesh Hashash, Tishka, Hakakach, with Kabel to Sefe Shabbos. We're also worried that if she does not accept Shabbos at the time she is lighting candles and she makes a condition to accept it later, perhaps you might forget and to add on to the Shabbos later on. Generally speaking, practically speaking, we accept Shabbos, women do when candles are lit, but in those few rare circumstances where you need the extra time or, let's say, you need to get to shul, as I mentioned, we'll rely on this tonight, on this condition. That's as far as the women go. Hagvarim, as far as the men go, Hayunogim lekabelas ha-shabbos v'tfila aydei amiris boi kala shabbos hamalka shibapiat lechadodi. When we accept Shabbos, we accept Shabbos, generally speaking, when we get to the end of lechadodi in shul, we're davening in shul, we're singing L'chadodi, we get to the last paragraph of L'chadodi, we say, Boi kala, boi kala. V'kayom, bebate kineses rabim, ein ma speaking l'mar L'chadodi l'fnei hashkia. However, many places, because the shul doesn't start on time, or they start at a later hour, that they don't get to the end of L'chadodi before sunset. U'kudei l'kaimis mitzvah toshef ha-shabbos, tzorach ha-gaboi l'achriz l'achar tfilas mincha boi kala shabbos hamalka. And so that people can have this ability to have Tosef as Shabbos, the few minutes extra. So the Gabbai sometimes will announce and say at the end of Mincha, Boi Shabbos, Boi Kala, Shabbos Amalka. Accept the Tosef as Shabbos now verbally. And by doing so, 
everyone will accept the Shabbos. Personally speaking, I've never seen this done, but just because I haven't seen something doesn't mean that it's not done. And if the Gabbai does not make such an announcement, a person should mention that line and say, come the Shabbos queen, or maybe, or accept upon myself the sanctity of Shabbos. If, however, a person is worried that if he waits till the repetition of the Shemon Esrei is completed in Mincha, that it's already going to be after sunset, and he's going to miss out on Tosef Shabbos, he could say to himself during the repetition of the Shemon Esrei that he's accepting the Shabbos upon himself. We try to schedule, so just as a matter of course, we schedule Mincha around the time of candle lighting. So it'll be anywhere from 18 to 14 minutes, let's say, before sunset. And Mincha doesn't take all that long. And generally, we're in Kabbalah Shabbos already at the time of sunset. So this is not really much of an issue for us. But the idea stands of having added time onto the Shabbos. And we have to figure out how exactly we do that. You can't just kind of appear and show up, and there it is. We have to do something either verbally, mentally, men, women, however we accept the Shabbos, we have to be conscious and conscientious about it so that we can show the beauty and enter into the Shabbos in the correct frame of mind. So I thank everyone for listening today. Hope everyone will have a great Tuesday. And we'll see you here next time as we... Continue studying Penina Halacha, the teachings of Rabbi Yazam Alameid Shlita.